at 11. And thanks for choosing 23 ABC News at 11. I'm Tim Callahan. And I'm Jackie Parks. Citrus growers are bracing for yet another frigid night as a cold snap continues to threaten crops all across the state. 23 ABC's Carlos Correa live east of Bakersfield with some of the measures being taken tonight to prevent further damage. Carlos. You know, many growers haven't even started to pick their own fruit yet. And with this cold wave coming through, that process may take even longer. Citrus grower Michael McMaster keeps a close eye on the weather. I'm on the computer now. It used to be you'd listen to the weather radio. Now we're all uh, tied to the internet, uh, which is really useful because we get real time weather data. There's a freeze warning in effect, and temperatures are predicted to dip into the mid 20s, making for a long night ahead. It impacts us severely um, because obviously that's what we've been spending the whole year doing, trying to raise a crop that. Uh, generates income, so anytime you have a freeze that could potentially destroy the crop, you know, you're uh, a little concerned. There. Growers have two options to deal with the freeze. The first is using wind machines when there's an inversion layer. That's when the warm air is above cooler air. But since it's all cold, farmers are turning to the second option, which is running water. As the water freezes, it actually uh, generates heat. So we can raise the temperature at the ground level by two or three degrees, which in some cases might be enough to protect uh, the, the crop itself. Covers are used to protect smaller trees because saving bigger ones come at a hefty price. Yeah, it's similar to, to people in their backyards, how they'll throw a blanket or something over, uh, you know, backyard plants trying to preserve those. It's the same idea. You know, you're just trying to keep that tree warm enough so that it doesn't uh, destroy the uh, young vegetation. Citrus growers work hard every season to protect their crops from the cold temperatures, but this year the freeze came earlier than they expected. Hope that, you know, if we can't save the crop, at least that we can protect the tree. At this point, um, we're hoping for maybe warmer than predicted temperatures, and hopefully, all the measures that we take will uh, actually do some good. Now, growers won't know for a couple of more days if this cold snap will have any economic uh, impact on their fruit. Live at 11, Carlos Correa, 23 ABC.